I feel life running out. Away, you Naboro slaver. I kill battle buffers. Me, with my uh, bad paws. We toss him to uh, his pet spider. Like he tossed uh, bodies of rat kings he tortures. To death first. Tell world. Uh, Slaver Bufas has what he deserves. Uh, take his bloody ring. Tell my story. Tell story of freedom, uh, revolution, life, and uh, my death. What happened here? Bufas fight back and we all fall in. Uh, spider pit. Two brothers. I, I barely survive. 
but Bufus is dead. Freedom, I die happily now. Could I just tend those wounds a little? Maybe I could still... Let me die. I welcome hero death and call death to Naburu oppressors. Oh, come on. There's nothing heroic in dying in a puddle of your own blood and piss. And honestly, I'm not a great fan of the Naburu either. I mean, at least not all of them. Don't get me started. Oh, you... you not... Noboro, can you help me? Please, bring me medicine and patch me. I not... I not want to die. By the poison, killing slowly but painful. I'll try, but they don't grow on trees, you know. Livio must have some. Keepers always keep. She also healer of this fortress. My last immortal, we will talk more in calmer times. I can't wait to get to know you better, but now we still have work to do. Did you make any progress in your blessed search? Tell me our good barrow doesn't rot in the sewers. Be risen. You bring news of great joy into the time of sadness and mourning. Let's get prepared for the highsome burial he rightfully deserves. I hope you will be open to me accompanying you to the city.
Dario. Really, a touching moment. Thank you, mistress. You are most welcome, my last immortal. The fact that you could witness that helps to numb my pain a little. You have opened your heart to us and learned about our traditions. I am a very open guy. I hope you will be open to me accompanying you to the city. It's time to leave all this behind and retrieve our patriarch. I am sure the trader will have some answers. No need to postpone this. Just get your permit to pass from Gracchus so we can be on our way. No need to postpone this. Let's enter this. Just get your permit to pass from Well, let me hear the certainly good news. Unless you would fail to take care of your task before that old fool buffers dive six feet under. I wouldn't be surprised. So tell me, have you acquired the ring for me? And for the Naboru Empire, of course. Well, here you go. Hope it's the one we were looking for. Yes, it is the one indeed. Where did you find it? Believe me, you don't want to know. It would give you arachnophobia. All right, no questions asked. As far as I'm concerned, the end justifies the means. And the end is indeed quite well here. Now I can finally see those damn leave permits and get out of here. Even that thick-headed gate guard won't stand in my way now. What? Well, what about me? Oh, right. You did well. I'm sure Her Majesty will be rather pleased. Here, take these papers and report to her promptly. Take them, go and be gone. No need to postpone this. Let's enter the city. Just show your permit to Cyrus and off we go. The gate is closed. I need to get through. I follow my orders. And what orders would that be? 
I can open the gate only once the attack is over and the fortress is safe again. What if I told you the attack is over? I would need to see that in writing with Borrow Buffus's seal on it. What if he would be unfit to seal anything? Orders are orders. I have these papers from Marshal Gracchus. Marshal Gracchus? Well, I will have to look at the seal closely. Gracchus is in no position to issue those. Actually, he is now. Borobuffus is dead. It was quite difficult to get that seal. That's sad news. And I am indeed sorry for your troubles. But you know the drill. Orders are orders. Yeah, sure. Well, the seal seems perfectly fine. Rejoice! The attack is now officially over! Let me open that gate for you and all the good beings of the land and sea. Thank you. No, thank you. It was the most boring task I've had in ages. Finally, I can leave this stupid gate and get busy living. That means the Ratkins will get busy dying. Exactly. May Her Majesty be always lofty and well. And may your travels be always safe. I... well... thank you. I need to talk to Her Majesty. It's urgent. Then enter these walls and try to find her. She will most likely be in the High Center. My last immortal, this is our beloved city, the place of enlightenment and civilization. Great. What's it called, mistress? City. It's the only city we have. No need for excessive naming. Right. That's disturbingly reasonable. You shall go and seek our queen. Be at her full disposal. We need you to gain her trust. What? Why? I thought we were saving the Patriarch. First off, she is our sovereign ruler and governor. You should appear to serve her and respect her. Second, our search for my Maltis will be much easier if Hadriana's men don't attack you on sight. Third, she has strayed from the ways of the Naboru and shall be replaced at the right time. Easier done when she trusts us. That's a lot of fair points. Also, a bit more politics than I would care for, honestly. Then let me take care of the politics. Just go for your royal visit. You are not going with me, mistress? We shouldn't be seen together. I shall find you afterwards. Halt! Brave I'm not sure I understood everything, but I have those papers from Gracchus. I bring urgent news to Her Majesty. Let me examine those briefly. Seal seems veritable. Signature credible. No signs of forgery. I find you admissible. I find you very hard to understand. Rest assured Her Majesty will give your message appropriate attention. Follow me.
Your Majesty. Human, we left you in prison, yet you arrive with credentials from our dear Marshal. How is that possible? Gracchus just somehow grew gradually fond of me. He said that Naboru could use many of my talents. What talents? I'm not sure. Maybe my juggling skills? Maybe my silver tongue? Most likely it was just being immortal. What did you say? Immortal? You? Yeah, immortal. What's the fuss? I thought everybody knew. Rest assured we wouldn't have left you in that prison if we knew. Our Sacrext talks of an immortal one. He shall lead us to ascension. And unite the core with the shell. We took our sacred texts for simply two vivid metaphors. Now we might be tempted to believe they are actually true. Well, Gracchus knew right away. Not much of a doubt there, and a lot of creative ways to put my life on the line. Curious. We would have thought he would tell us, since we... Never mind, that's not important. He also wanted me to tell you... Later, human. We also might have a use for your talents, in an extremely acute situation. Who wouldn't? I'm listening. While we were away, the rats took over half of our city, which would be impossible without help from the inside. We suspect our half-brother, yet we have no proof. We will have to leave this question for later. So, what should I do? We need someone to kill that rebellious Ratkin general prancing over there with such overconfidence. I, mighty Farkin General Drab, challenge Nabaldo to wager of champions! Give me your best champion to fight! And I am no assassin. Good. We don't need an assassin. It wants to fight our most proficient warrior in a so-called wager of champions. A delirious, idealistic duel between himself, General Drap, a rat of a rather silly name, and our best warrior. If we send you, human, is it true that you can't lose? Well, sort of. Speak clearly, human. I can lose as many times as needed to win. When I die, I get reborn again. We understand. Then it's taken care of. You shall be our champion. From a prisoner to a champion in one day, local son must be my lucky star. Indeed. Many have given their life for the Naboru Empire. You shall be the first to give multiple. What can I say? I'm a man of multiple talents. Then take this as a symbol of our trust and seek our commanding captain. He is in charge of our defense and shall be able to grant you a clear passage. You will find him at one of the barricades. My last immortal, how did it go? Did the Queen accept you? More than that, she wants me to deal with the Ratkin General. Obviously, if one kills a few rats back at the monastery, his exterminating fame precedes him. That's very good news. I am proud of you. And disposing of the General aligns with our plans as well. Just make sure you kill him properly and once and for all. Why? That transcends both of us. Our masters need to annihilate him. They haven't shared their reasons with me. Just go now and carry on with your sacred mission. Kill the general, keep the queen's trust, and keep our alliance secret. Yes, mistress.
Greetings, alien stranger. If you are looking for spiritual guidance, services will be resumed soon in our sanctum. What? I Please excuse me. I can't be of any help. My time is very limited. You surely must have your own tasks to proceed with. Greetings, alien stranger. What? Please excuse me. Our new champion, you have surprised me. Honestly, I envy you a little. You enjoy being killed by giant rats over and over again? No, quite the opposite. I rejoice in killing rats. Yeah, right. This one would have been a privilege. Still, I respect Her Majesty's choice. And since you fought your way out of the fortress, you are now a veteran too. I was hoping to stay forever young. But thanks. You would honor me if you took this shield. It was made by my good friend, Titus. The best shield I ever had. Light and strong, regularly soaked in fresh ratkin blood by the gallons. Impressive. I'll try to do it justice. If you need something else from our modest armory, just help yourself. Anything for our champion! And last but not least, a little treat from the house, so to speak. A souvenir from the field of battle. I found it while lying injured in the mud. May it bring you luck in combat as it did for me. Thank you. Captain's log, 103. 